Welcome back everyone. This video we are going to give you some more reasons as to why SignalR is something you should use. And don't worry, we'll be getting more into the whole different technologies like WebSockets and all that stuff in the next video. But for now, I want to give a clean foundation as to why SignalR is legit. The very first thing I got for this video is that the back end is programmed in .NET. So C Sharp, Visual Basic, probably F Sharp, all those kinds of things are .NET. And why .NET? Well, that's because .NET is one of the coolest frameworks in the world. Right? With .NET, you get all kinds of extra functionality that's easily built in, and you don't always have to know the deep memory allocation garbage. You just It just works, right? So we're going to be building our backend in C Sharp, which is an object-oriented programming language that's built on the .NET framework. The next reason I got for you guys is that SignalR has a bunch of cool functionalities that we can add to our web applications. For example, the idea of groups. So with SignalR, you can make basically a broadcasting system where we have some kind of data up in the server and we want to broadcast that to all of the clients. But in addition to that, we can make groups. So we could have multiple different feeds, I guess you could say, and certain people can subscribe to whichever ones they want. You've probably seen this in any kind of chat room kind of thing. If you open a chat room about C Sharp, you only get the feed of C Sharp. You understand? So that would kind of be like, hey, this is a chat room. If you join it, you're part of that feed. And you can be part of multiple feeds or groups and it'll work fine. So that's one of the great reasons. The last reason I got for you guys is its scalability. Scalability refers to the application's ability to get bigger, serve more people, more clients. Well, SignalR works great even if there's a lot of clients connected in an open connection. I mean, if you think about an open connection, that's a connection that has to be maintained by the server. So if you have 100,000 people on your website, well, that's 100,000 open connections. And that can, that can be a lot on a server. But because SignalR has very good scalability, it's easy to implement multi-server situations and you could easily have a million users at one time without a problem. You just have to have the hardware to back it up. So that's the final reason I got as to why you should use SignalR. And if you disagree with me, then get out! I don't even care! This is my video series, man! But if if you don't, you can try just WebSockets, yeah. But I recommend SignalR. <laughs> okay, bye guys.